LTD's dropped once again for Madden 21 Ultimate Team. And while today's drop might not be the most inspiring, we could have some potential big names coming up later in the year. What's good, everybody? What's going on? It's your boy Rob, aka Roboto. Now, look, if you've been an Ultimate Team player for some years now, you know what the deal is with these LTDs, these limited time cards. They're very hard to get, they're very hard to pull out of packs. If you get one, usually they're going to be a great addition to your team. So, with that being said, we got our ninth installment, our 18th players. And with today's releases, I can kind of pick up a little trend happening and we can maybe see what's going to go ahead in the future for limited time cards. But before we get into all that, just want to let you know if you are new here, appreciate you stopping by as per usual you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below you can also click the notification bell right next to it you get notified anytime i'm live with brand new content just like this you can also follow along right here all the socials twitter instagram twitch right here on youtube obviously uh, but if you have any questions please hit me up in the comments section below i'll be happy to answer any and all questions you might have and i'll be happy to take any thoughts any ideas any other suggestions you guys might have for me in this video now if you're a seasoned vet a player who's been here and done that before in madden 21 or madden ultimate team by all means you're welcome to skip ahead and find the part that interests you but we're going to go ahead and talk about the basics of a limited card right for those who might not be familiar ltds limited time cards basically their impacts for 48 hours uh you have odds and chances to get them by opening packs in the game uh, get a player packs uh get a golds whatever packs can contain the limiteds you have a chance of getting it it's very very slim very very hard to get um these game changer packs uh, all pro packs or whatever packs are out in stores team of the week whatever the case may be the, the point of them is not so much to have them overpopulated in the market obviously it's limited for a reason limited time cards and sometimes ea tends to pick some good names i mean we've got saquon barkley as you can see here by the list of cards that already came out um first these are the two guys that came out today brandon brooks rokon smith as you can see they're juiced in price um you know a, a offensive lineman middle linebacker for Madden 21, kind of both positions are kind of irrelevant, really, unless you're an Eagles Bears team. Um, Rokon Smith should be good. 89 speed, 93 tackle, 93 hit power, but unfortunately, 85 zone too. Um, unfortunately, they don't make linebackers matter. They might now. I mean, there's a recent title update that improved their reactions to run plays and stuff, so we'll see. But right now, linebackers don't matter. But as you see in the past, we've got some interesting names. You know, Saquon Barkley, McCourty. Um, as you can see, Cooper Waller still a hot name out there. Aaron Rodgers, Denzel Ward still good. Dalvin Cook's having a great season. Um, so there's a bunch of good names in here, and there's a bunch of interesting ones too. But what I noticed here, as you can see in this beautiful, wonderful little spreadsheet, what I kind of picked up on is the trends of what's going on in limiteds. And now people still, if you're a vet, vet and you're sitting here and you're watching this and you're like, uh, we know this. Every team gets one. Okay, thank you. We appreciate your input. We do. I really do. I mean, what would I do without you telling me things we already know? So for those who don't, this is how it's been laid out this year, right? We can't talk about last year's, previous years, whatever the case may be. I'm solely talking about right now in this moment, this year. I split it up by division, by team, kind of took every player, inventory of every player and their last card. And as you can see here, there's a little trend here. Uh, everybody has anywhere between ranging an 80 to 86 core league card. Team of the Week cards set aside for some of these guys like Marlon Humphrey, for example, um, just for the simple fact that the, obviously that elite card came out before, um, and that's the card that's basically translating directly to the power-up path for everybody else. And some of these Team of the Week cards got added after the player's release. So important to keep that in mind. Um, also, one thing to super, super keep in mind is that all of these players have a previous core elite, if not a direct core elite right before, like I said. The thing about limiteds is that you can't really predict which player it is, but we're going to try to do it today. So let's jump into the remaining teams here. We have 18 teams already have a limited already. That's over half the league. And I feel pretty comfortable in assuming and guessing that this is the trend that we're going on with EA. Every team's getting one, giving it to guys who don't have an upgrade or a plus one or something with a core elite um, at this moment or when the game was originally launched. And we also know that we have maybe some positions to fill out, as you see on the bottom there. Defensive ends are empty, um, strong safety is empty, even though we got two free safeties, so maybe they consider, you know, Hyde McCourty um, could be strong free safety interchangeable, and we're missing a center as well. Um, we could also get a third wide receiver or a second middle linebacker, um, a second outside linebacker, so there's some names. We'll consider a bunch of names and we'll write them all down and see what we got going on, but um, let's just jump right in. Again, we have about 14 more to go, and the AFC South is completely naked, so let's start over there. 
And also, you got to remember, too, guys, we got to keep a little EA logic in some of this, right? We can't just sit here and throw out names willy nilly without thinking through what their progression is through the power up and what else EA has done in the past with these cards. All these cards, all these limiteds have power ups. So just keep that in mind. And, and the other part of all that, too, is who does EA want to put in packs to potentially sell? I mean, LCDs, if it's a good name, packs will come flying off the shelves. So there's going to be some big names, some some nice names. There's also going to be some interesting lower level names that are just going to fill out the roster. Um, unfortunately, if it's your favorite team, I'm sorry, but this is just how we're crumbling the cookie today taking everything at a first glance here gonna do it with you guys in the video also i don't hate your team i don't love your team i don't like any team besides my own i don't hate any team besides my own so keep that in mind too we're just having some fun picking some names out and thinking about potential opportunities for cards in the future that could bring some interesting names to madden 21 ultimate team and guys who kind of deserve an upgrade some point through the season uh, there's a lot of good names a lot of good players out there so let's check it out and the one thing we want to make sure we do with all these is we want to pick has power up the Houston Texans are up first for me now. And as you can see, as we go down here, a lot of these guys are kind of duplicated, repeated, right? And the range we want to work on is the core elite. So I want to make sure we don't have anybody here. And that leaves me down to Deshaun Watson. Now, if we throw away the team of the week card he already had previously, as you can see here, it was just a little 84. So it wasn't anything that's too, too, too crazy to put in for a progression of the power up. So. I'm going to have to go ahead and say Deshaun Watson might be the limited choice for the Texans here. His only other card is a team of the week 84, which I imagine probably would just go into his power up or as a training bypass. But Watson is probably the safest pick here. The only other guy I could possibly see maybe is Whit Whitney Merciless, just for the simple fact that we need outside linebackers. Um, and he only has a gold. But if we're following trends that they already set for us, we know that right here the core elite card if you know team of the week aside but the core elite into the ltd is the move that they're doing so i'm gonna go with deshaun watson as the houston texans representative in the afc south for a limited card now staying in the south division of the afc we're gonna go to the colts now they are heavy 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 on the legends early on as you can see robert mathis edger and james reggie wayne their team is uh you know they're they're missing a couple big names up top quentin nelson just got a most feared upgrade um, Leonard recently got a standout. I believe this for the Colts will be down to two possible players right here. Um, number one's T.Y. Hilton, number two's Anthony Costanzo. They're right next to each other. They're both 82s, they're both core elites, and they both don't have any other better card. Um, I could be very, 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 very wrong, and they could go corner and just pick Xavier Rhodes. Um, just get him out the way uh, since he only has his best card to core gold, but I doubt it. Uh, so it's either between T.Y. Hilton and Anthony Costanzo. And if I'm looking at the LTDs thing here, we only have one offensive tackle. We already got two wideouts. Is T.Y. Hilton really, really that kind of big name to throw him out there and, and be a, a LTD like that? We already got Cooper. Um, I don't think so. I think T.Y. Hilton might get an upgrade later on. I think the Colts getting Costanzo on the line there might be big for them because the Colts already have a good receiver and Reggie Wayne for their theme team. Their line is a little hurting besides Quentin Nelson. So I think it's going to be Costanzo. And again, I could be very wrong, um, but just looking at trends, it looks like this offensive tackle, Anthony Costanzo, is going to be the man to get the next LTD for the Colts. T.Y. Hilton, though, under intense consideration. All right, staying in the AFC South still. We're going to go ahead and jump to the Jaguars. Now, this is a team that desperately needs any sort of anything because, man, they have nothing, really. Uh, Miles Jack's their best player that has a Jaguars chem currently, or best active player, you could say. Now, being as the other guys that might be a good option for them, in particular, uh, Yannick Ngakwe and Leonard Fournette are not on the team, and they're still on there. We have to basically eliminate them from our mind. They're not on the Jaguars right now. Could they surprise us and give us a Yannick with a new upgrade? Could they surprise us and give us Fournette? Absolutely, but I really, really doubt it. I think they're going to kind of stick to who's on the team at this moment in time. So, uh, Andrew Noel, not a pretty sexy name. It's a guard. And then Joe Schobert, it's the same thing. Not a sexy name. He's a linebacker. Um, but just going by off their estimation here, if we have uh, Costanzo there as a tackle, I think we might have to go Schobert there at the... Uh, I'm sorry. I think we might have to go Norwell there at the other guard. I think it's kind of the safest bet. Schobert, though, is he's a good choice. Uh, he could get a limited. We'll see, though. I, I think for the purposes of this and trying to fill out the rest of the team here, I think we're going to have to go guard, and I think we're going to have to go Norwell and just keep him there as the uh, 80 overall core elite with Costanzo as the other lineman. 
So as we go down to the AFC South, the last team in the division is the Tennessee Titans. Now this theme team is kind of stacked, especially with the addition of Steve McNair this week. The Titans are juiced right now. They have one of the better theme teams in the game. So I think it's really between a couple guys here for the Tennessee Titans. There's a couple interesting names. I don't think it's gonna be anyone that's gonna really blow the doors off of anybody, but there's four solid names here. First is Kevin Byard. Uh, seconds of Dory Jackson at corner, Roger Saffold there at guard, and Harold Landry at right outside linebacker. They're all pretty solid options. Um, Bayard and Dory Jackson, unfortunately, just by looking at, again, the trends that they presented to us, uh, two guys at those positions already. Roger Saffold, I just got a guard. We just got a guard today. We just got another guard that I just picked. So I'm going to go Harold Landry the third. Not a sexy name not anything too crazy but uh if he gets limited up to a 93 maybe that speed probably would be something to note there right he's got 77 speed on an 80. if he gets a 93 what's that 90 speed 91 speed maybe so that'll be interesting to note so i'm gonna go ahead and pick harold landry here as the representative for the titans all right so we're gonna switch over to the afc west and with that we're gonna start with the denver broncos and again we're gonna sort through make sure it has a power up yes make sure it has power up because it'll be easier to sort through that way all these cards that have gotten limited have power ups so mccordy hyde williamson all the way through they all have power ups so with the broncos they have some solid cards up top chris harris jr at corner there shannon sharp team of the week aj boye veterans card so as we go through here and we sort, I think the only, I think the best choice, honestly, the choice that would make the most sense, the choice that would kind of put everything in a good perspective, because if you look at some of these names here, I'm sure there are some lower names. Um, Kawan Short, a not so household name. Cooper Cup even is not a household name. Rokon Smith, but there are some big names here. Saquon Barkley, Amari Cooper is a pretty big name in the NFL world. Aaron Rodgers, obviously. Um, Chandler Jones is one of the best defensive players in the last, what? five years 10 years in the league so there's a lot of good names on here so i think giving a von miller ltd he's not playing right now he's not going to be able to really kind of get a team of the week card team of the year anything like that i think giving him an ltd especially at the other outside linebacker position there could be interesting could be a good 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 indication of what to go what's going forward but if we have this situation where we do get a guy like landry there this miller selection could very well become kareem jackson now he's a safety He's a strong safety, actually, in particular. And, you know, that's going to be so, so important to fill out the rest of the squad here. We still have a strong safety opening down there. So is it Von Miller? Is it Kareem Jackson? I'm just going to go off name and say Von Miller here. Um, I know uh, what you're going to say, but you just picked Langer for outside. I know, but we don't know the exact order of how this is all going to go. And if I'm flipping a coin, I think EA is going to pick uh, Von Miller over Landry there and kind of mo more, more than likely give the Titans somebody or anybody else than him. But don't be surprised if Kareem Jackson is actually the choice for the Broncos there. But I'm going Von Miller. Next up is the Chargers. Now, their theme team, again, kind of got a lot boosted recently. Team of the Weeks, uh, Reduxes, the 50. So there's a couple good options here. Um, Derwin James probably won't get one. He got a Rising Stars. Bulaga, they could just throw it uh, to a uh, right tackle there. But given the fact that they have two cornerbacks that kind of need an upgrade, I think we're going to go corner. I think we're going to go, ooh, man, this is interesting. Casey Hayward or Desmond King. Um, let's go Desmond King, just because he's an 82. Who's had better speed? 81 for Hayward, 82. Yeah, so Desmond King will have better speed. Let's just go Desmond King. He'd be the third corner. So it'd be very interesting to see if it actually is Desmond King, because it definitely could be Melvin Ingram here or Brian Bulaga. Um, just for the simple fact that it's a right end, we kind of need a rush end right end there to fill in the rest of the defensive end spots or an LTD and Bulaga is a tackle. And like I said before, they got to keep putting the tackles in the game. These offensive linemen are important to them for some reason. All right. So next up is the Chiefs. Now, Kansas City is very interesting for multiple reasons. Number one, uh, they already have a very good team. They already have a very good theme team. And that's all without two of their best players not getting upgrades. Patrick Mahomes, Tyree Kill. You can even throw in Mitchell Schwartz in there. Um, three of their best players. Hell, Chris Jones. Ooh, man, this is, a, this is probably going to be the toughest one to pick out of all of them. Because Patrick Mahomes here, will they give him a better card as a limited? Will they give Tyree Kill the limited? I think the community would riot. Uh, Mitchell Schwartz, Chris Jones. There's four good options, four all pro options. And if I'm looking right here, I'm looking a little thin DT wise. I need a second DT. 
I think Chris Jones is kind of happily in the middle of the range there where we're not kind of screwing our players, Tyreek Hill, Patrick Mahomes, so to speak. Uh, we're not screwing them so much in the sense of here's one card that we know the community really wants and we're going to make it extremely hard to get. I think community would really like a Chris Jones. The Chiefs community, excuse me, really like Chris Jones kind of fill the middle there. The Schwartz option isn't bad. We always also got to consider the lineman because EA will always find a way to include linemen in some way, shape or form. But I just think his overall is an 87. That's a little bit too high. Nobody had a higher than an 86 in my research here. Um, the highest one, 86 was Brandon Brooks, and he just got a card today. Um, so I think we're going to go with Chris Jones as the Chiefs representative for an LTD. All right, so we're going to jump to the NFC South here real quick, kind of jumping around all over the divisions. No rhyme or reason just what I see on my sheet. And we're gonna go to the Atlanta Falcons. Now, another team that has a pretty solid theme team, uh, primarily led by Michael Vick, Julio Jones, and you see Abraham, Grady Jarrett there, kind of defensive lineman filling out the defensive end. Now, this is a team that could use an upgrade in one particular position, and I think it's the answer to the question we were kind of having earlier. Uh, who is gonna be our strong safety? And I think it's Keanu Neal. Deion Jones is a great option. Deion Jones is a fantastic option. I think he could very well be that middle linebacker um, that's gonna be thrown in here instead of the, you know, the guys I was thinking earlier, right? If we go back to the Jaguars and we put, um, if we go back to the Jaguars, we put Schobert there instead of Norwell, then we're kind of shifting um, Norwell out, putting, yeah, we'll, we'll shift that at the end here. But what I'm gonna do here for this position, I'm gonna pick Keanu Neal. 81 overall strong safety he'd be a fun user he's always pretty a pretty solid user um Deion jones is also a good user as well either of these guys would be great selections but i think i'm gonna go keanu neal just for the simple fact we need that strong safety spot filled now we're gonna go to the nfc west and now again seahawks same deal they probably have one of the best if not the best themed teams in the game right now very boosted up by the 50 um and a lot of programs you know team of the week uh most feared you see jamal adams got an ultimate kickoff card and a redux so um, standouts for Metcalf, but Wagner just got an upgrade to not too long ago, Team of the Week card. But as we continue to matriculate down here um, and score elites and get into that range and move past all the guys who got plus ones, you got to go down to right about here. There's one interesting there, one. There's one interesting there, but this one's even more interesting to me. I think just kind of filling out the, the lineup here, so to speak, for Team of the Week. Uh, could Chris Carson get one? Man, that'd be interesting. He's a power back. He'd be a, a, a switch up from Saquon, right? He'd be different where Sa Saquon's more of an elusive receiving back. Chris Carson's the power back archetype. So could we see that happen? There's a chance, but I think I'm gonna go Dwayne Brown, left tackle, 80 overall. He needs an upgrade. He has a power up. So I think this one's kind of a no brainer for Seattle. They don't, they, Seahawks fans can't complain about this either. You get Dwayne Brown, you're gonna like it. You got Russell Wilson, you got DK, you got Lockett. You got a lot of good players, all right? You're probably gonna get Earl Thomas later on. You're probably gonna get a whole bunch of good defensive guys, another Sherman, relax, all right? So you're gonna get Dwayne Brown, you're gonna like it. So we're gonna go to the 49ers next. San Francisco 49ers. Similar situation here. 49ers, very good theme team. They will have a very good theme team all the way through. Um, if you comb down through here and you kind of sort in some of the guys and get through all the power-ups legends upgrades all the powered up cards keep sorting down there there's sherman's corley but he just got an upgrade um we're scrolling down we're looking we're looking we're looking there's use check could we get a fullback ltd <laughs> man oh man that'd be interesting and as you keep going down we also see a name like george kittle and we also see a name like Eric Armstead. And we also see a name like D Ford. There's a couple good options. Jimmy G, not cutting it for me, my man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But use check. Fullback there, could that be the one fullback LTD we get? We don't have it. I don't even list the fullback here. Could the Niners get that too in a similar situation as the Seahawks? Don't complain about it. You got a guy's got a good card here, right? Warner's out because he got a standout. Um, Kittle's core elite is an 87. So it might be a smidge too high for this range. I'm operating mostly 80, 82. Core elite, so I think Kittle might be somebody who gets a, an upgrade in a program. Um, Eric Armstead, defensive end, 81 overall. D4, defensive end, 81 overall. Could it be one of these guys or use check? I think at the end of the day, it's gonna be a defensive end. We need more defensive ends here to fill this joint out. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick Eric Armstead, um, just for the simple fact that I like him better than D4. That's really it. And he's also huge, he's tall, 6'7", that's great. And now Armstead could definitely play DT, 
um he could probably switch over to that between dt and, and left end it could be a nice big big dude to throw in as a spy qb spy of swords if they give him some respectable speed um if it's at least over 80 you know we could look at some something good there but if it's gonna hover in the 70s it's gonna be a pass for anything besides kind of stuffing the ball all right we're gonna jump over the afc north we're gonna hit the pittsburgh steelers and again this team uh right now it might not look like it but later on in the year as we go through they're gonna have an insane beastly theme team so just keep that in mind we need to match that energy here okay so we got to fill out the roster and the positions and while some Steelers fans may say oh we don't have a great theme team right now you guys have been getting some cards you know Palomalu, Mean Joan Green, Roethlisberger upgrade, New Harrison, Shaz, um, Le'Veon Bell just got one, TJ Watt's still good, uh, Rod Woodson so you got a, a, you got a lot of good options there Bettis isn't the best but he's still a good um, solid running back to throw in as a power back of sorts so there's some options that we will look at down in the core elite range as we keep sorting down there's some obvious guys make us out but i think the one here that might be interesting is the castro there's another one down here if we scroll down cameron hayward he could be one and stefan to it so as we keep going through um there's a couple guys that could get one for sure there's a few names. There's a huge dearth of names here in Pittsburgh as I'm looking at it. Oh my goodness. So the Castro here at guard would be a nice pick, but we might actually not go that direction. K word here, defensive end, right end, power rusher. There's a good option right there, but we just got a power rusher. Uh, run stopper for two it. Pouncy, the center. Big man in the middle there for Pittsburgh. We need a center here. We definitely need a center. Could the Steelers be the one that gets a center? I think so. I'm going to go Pouncy. And Juju is a good name to look out for, too. Juju just had a great week, team of the week. So he could be somebody that gets an upgrade soon. And EA loves Juju, as we all know. And Joe Hayden, too. Uh, nice corner. He could be decently speedy corner, too. If he gets a 93, maybe you're looking at 92 speed. So keep that name in mind. There's a couple interesting names for Pittsburgh. Um, Hayward, Tuit, the Castro, Pouncy, Juju. A whole lot of hosts of options but i think just to fill out this fake roster right that we're building i'm gonna add pouncy there's a center and i'm probably gonna have to rejigger some of this afc south but we'll revisit that all right we're jumping over to the cincinnati Bengals here now the Bengals are an interesting team right they are not the best but they are also full of kind of semi-interesting players i guess when you break down their roster um as we go through here they're led by taylor mays aj green corey dillon um couple of uh, old school throwback cards so to speak some guys who are not the current day stars these this is a limited um and i believe this one yeah team of the week hero and he's the 50 so um not the same not your not your uh, same aj green you're always used to uh was getting that card there so if we scroll down here joe mixon could he be but he's an eight we'll look at joe mixon real quick there's really only two options here i've seen for the cincinnati Bengals between joe mixon and tyler boyd and I think just for the simple fact that the Bengals kind of need somebody that's going to really set them apart in a position, I'm going to have to go Joe Mixon. I know he's very similar to Barkley in that sense, but I'm going to have to go Mixon. I don't think Boyd will get one. I don't think he's a uh, name that's really going to jump off the page for many people, especially at EA. So um, we're going to go Joe Mixon, especially at a wide receiver position. You can't you got to come strong there. And, and Mixon, you know, he's not the biggest name, but he's a strong enough name for Bengals fans for sure. All right, next up is the Washington professional football team. Now, as you can see here, Gary Terry's leading the way for them. Uh, Bostick standout, Morgan Moses. So they don't really have anybody else atop their rankings here. Um, that's a core part of their team, unless you're going to throw some legends around. So if we scroll down, scroll down and keep looking, they're not going to give a punter a limited. We can hang out right here. There's the Sheriff. We can hang out right here. So Brandon Sheriff there um, as a guard, right guard. We already got a right guard, Brandon Brooks today. So might not be that guy. Matthew Ayanandis. I don't think you're going to get one. Ryan Kerrigan, though. He only got a team of the week 78. He's a pretty solid name. I don't think he's a slouch at all. Kendall Fuller, uh, safety. We already got two safeties already and, and a third that I picked. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Ryan Kerrigan as the limited there at left end for the Washington football team. And last but not least, one of the more surprising teams of this young or halfway through NFL season, I think, the Miami Dolphins. So as we go to the top, a broken Ryan Fitzpatrick leads the way. Byron Jones is still very playable. Dan Marino is still very usable. Uh, Sue flashback, it is what it is. Um, but we're going to scroll down here and check out some of their other options. Kyle Van Noy, 
is a power up that I see in my dreams. And if you open up Get a Player Packs, you know about his mug shot that they have for him. So that's not good. The Stephen Howard cornerback card is horrible. But the one name that is left here is Devontae Parker. Now I know, I know, I know. It's another receiver. It's going to be the third receiver, but we're going to go with Parker. And I'm going to pick him only for the simple fact that he's really the only um, guy on this core elite list that doesn't have a power up yet or doesn't have an upgrade yet. So if we go through from the top here and we go through from the beginning, their core elites don't even begin until Byron Jones at 83. You know, they don't have any good players, <laughs> base players on their team besides Byron Jones as a core elite there, Van Noy's an 82 core elite, and Devontae Parker. There's really only three options. Xavier Howard, I just got one too. So the only option left is Devontae Parker. It has to be him. All right, so I think after making this list, I might have to make some adjustments to a couple things here. To fit in Von Miller there, I'm gonna have to go here for the Jaguars. I'm gonna have to pick Schobert as my main option. I'm gonna have to go ahead and move from Landry, and we're gonna have to go Safford, Roger Safford. And then we're gonna stick with Von Miller there at the outside linebacker. I think it's a pretty solid list. So let's go over the guys I picked. For the Dolphins, we're going Devontae Parker. Uh, he's the only core elite left there. For the Washington football team, we're going Ryan Kerrigan just to fill out defensive ends. Uh, Marquise Pouncey is the center for these from the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're gonna go Joe Mixon at running back just because it's between him and Tyler Boyd there for the Bengals. Desmond King for the Chargers. It's really kind of between him and Casey Hayward. Um, the two corners there for uh, Los Angeles, excuse me, not San Diego. Uh, Chris Jones, defensive tackle for the Chiefs. Dwayne Brown, left tackle for the Seahawks. Eric Armstead, the other end there for the 49ers. Deshaun Watson, quarterback for the Houston Texans. He's the best option, I think. Uh, Joe Sherbert, middle linebacker for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Anthony Costanzo, left tackle for the Indianapolis Colts. Roger Safford, guard for the Titans. And last but not least, Keanu Neal, strong safety from the Atlanta Falcons. I'm pretty sure that rounds out the whole team. We got two DEs, we got one safety, we got a center, we got another quarterback, we got another receiver, we got another middle linebacker, we got another outside linebacker, and we got another DT. So I think that pretty much figures out everything we need here. And then we got another halfback too. That's just about two at every position that needs one tight end. Could that get another plus, you know, another player there? Could that be Kittle? Could that be the other limited tight ends, George Kittle? No, we'll see. We'll see. It's very interesting, especially the 49ers, a couple teams, 49ers, Chiefs, um, Colts, Titans. There's a bunch of good teams right now that have some interesting names that are very important to watch. Keanu Neal, even as a user, that could be a glitchy user later on in the year. So those are my suggestions. Those are my picks. Those are my guesses. This is what we're going to do. That's it. That's what you need to see. If you guys want to see this spreadsheet, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to send it your way. Um, so you can see some of the ideas, thoughts, and creations I've been coming up with. But if we're just sorting out, simply breaking it down between who has a power up, um, who's needed on each side of the ball, this is kind of what we're looking at right here. So that's going to be all for the video today. Appreciate y'all for stopping by. Catch you next time.